All right, back to it. So, here's what we're doing in Premiere. All right, for the sake of the tutorial, I already set it all up, what I wanted to show y'all and use as an example. But this is a music video I did about a year ago, something like that, maybe a little less. And I got a lot of recognition for the effects I used. So one of them is the scribble animation effect. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Let's get right into it. First of all, here's my name in the beginning of the video. Proof that I made it. This is the scribble effect. Oh, let me mute. I'm gonna mute this sound effect so you can hear me better. But Here's the intro clip. You can see that there's scribbling going on in the X's in his eyes. It's all the scribble animation effect. Also in this clip, around his hands and his eye, around his jewelry, there's a green screen animation. I'll make a video about that later. Um, but in this clip, there's the little green dollar signs in his eyes. In this video, there are scribble animations around the money in his hands and then it goes in reverse and there's animations around his eyes also in this clip animation around his hand the color changing effect and the camera spinning effect is uh, not part of this um, the color changing was just a quick downloaded feature and the actual spinning of the clip is the Ronin or the gimbal I was using the DJI Ronin but we're gonna get into how to actually do the scribble animation effect. So you're gonna take your clip, I'm gonna use this clip because there's no, no drawings on it. Left click on it, left click on it, and then go to replace with After Effects Composition. So you're gonna click that. I'd recommend already having After Effects open. It'll be a lot quicker, like what just happened, just popped right up. You're going to go up to the clip and you're going to double click it. You have to double click it. If you're in the layer that's not double clicked, it will not, see look, I'm on the, the brush tool, will not let me draw. Have to double click it and bring this layer up. This is an unlocked layer. Right before you're drawing, your settings, you have to make sure you're on single frame. Do not be on right on or constant or custom, be on single frame. Because then the line's gonna stay constantly on every single frame, so it's not gonna move. It's just gonna be, it's gonna sit there. And so you have to be on single frame, don't forget that. Now this is how you actually do the drawing effect. So you're gonna take your brushes or your brush tool. You're gonna select anywhere from 21 to 45 is my suggestion, easiest to see. And it's not too thick, not too thin. I usually do 35 to be exact, that's me, but everybody's different. I'm gonna use red as the color just so y'all can see it really well. And you're just going to draw. You're gonna hit command arrow key, which at left or right, whichever way you want to go, backwards or forwards. And for a better looking animation, I'd suggest drawing the same line twice and then moving down just a little bit. Doing it again. Moving down just a little bit. Doing it again. I'm gonna fast forward through this real quick just so you can get the gist. All right, so I just did a quick little put together of the drawing lines. You can do like frame by frame. It'll just be quicker. You want like, I like doing two lines per each clip because it just looks better personally like it, it if you really to understand you just have to know a little bit about like animation and that's a totally different subject when it comes to like filmmaking like you it's a whole different genre you got to really look into it and i just know simple tip is to do two lines in the same spot and then move to the next like clip or next frame and do it again now, if you just do every frame, just one drawing, and then you move the line, one drawing, it still will look good. It'll just be a lot faster. It won't stay on the screen as long, but everybody's different. If, if it's a really fast moving clip and you want the drawing effects to be a lot faster, then do just every frame, moving the line down a little bit, or moving the line wherever you need to create what you're trying to create. This is what it looks like, the finished product. I, I did it very quick for the sake of the tutorial, but, this is what it will look like at the end. And 
play it back again if you didn't see that. And then you go to Premiere and it'll pop right up in Premiere because you linked it. Right there. And that is how you do the drawing effect. Um, some quick tips that I can tell you now that you know how to do the drawing effect is take your time on your drawings. Do not rush them. Um, like if you rush them, they're just gonna look really bad and they're gonna look super squiggly. If that's what you're going for, then they it's perfect. But if you want the lines to look real crisp and just make sure you zoom in. Don't be lazy. Don't don't not zoom in just because you it takes too much time. Like zoom in, get in get into the fine details, do stuff like that. It makes the video a whole lot better. This video got like over two million views and it's because I took my time on it. I made sure everything flowed. I made sure the drawings weren't just there for no reason. You kind of, I use my drawings to help tell the story a little bit more instead of just making it look cool. You know, people get more intrigued by a story than just random stuff on a screen that looks cool. But that's it for this tutorial. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button. If you have any other suggestions for me, because this is my first tutorial. Um, comment down below if you want to know anything else you want me to do any more tutorials on anything comment down below um, I'm gonna be posting a lot more videos on like green screen effects and how to make cinematic videos and how to make Instagram proportionate videos so like your sequence settings will be right for Instagram um, make sure to subscribe so you can be notified and hit that little bell button so every time I post a video you will be updated that I posted it and that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.